Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shadow Temple of Fun for Freedom, back with more Persona 4 Golden. Last we left off, we had saved Yukiko from her castle and herself. And, uh, just spent a couple weeks waiting for Yukiko to recover. Just hanging out, having fun with friends, that kind of deal. Just being, you know, generally good people. Trying to develop friendships between Chie, Yukiko, and myself. We joined a sports club, we joined a culture club. We are now in soccer and, uh, drama club. Go figure. That'll come later, Arngun. Don't worry. Anyway, so tonight, I think we're just about waiting, we're, we're just about ready for Yukiko to recover. So we're gonna go see if she remembers anything at all. And, uh, continue from there. Without further ado, let's get going. So, it's April 27th. We are... It is raining heavily. So, like, uh, those unaware. If... Whoop. If, uh... Say someone's trapped in the TV world, like Yukiko was before we saved her. If there's, like, three days of rain, and we haven't saved her yet, she's dead. Just straight up hella dead. Because that's kind of how this game works. But we saved her beforehand, b before this three days of rain that's now currently happening, so we don't have to worry about it so much. In the meantime, however, we have to figure out what to do on the these rainy days, now that we're not currently fighting enemies. So, I'm gonna... So, since we last played, I re-enabled the online capabilities of Persona 4 Golden. Uh, you can see that top left corner voice bubble, which is kind of covered up by my Twitter handle. I apologize, but you don't really need to see it all that much. The gist of it is, if I click on it, it shows me what people did mostly on this particular day, at this particular time. So as you can see, a lot of people went into the TV to train. Uh, some people went straight home. A lot of people ate at Aya, which is a really good way to increase your social skills if you are in need of Increasing your social skills. And a whole bunch of fun stuff. I think what I'm going to do... I think it's... I'm, I'm, I, I think I can do it right now. I'm not certain, but I'll have to double check. I'm going to go fishing. Because I don't really need to train in the TV very much. Don't really want to waste a day on that. But I do need to I need I do need to know how to fish. You see the shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. Cast. So we do. Uh, it's raining. What kind of fish would be here today? So we take a like a Tatsushime ladybug. Throw it out there. When a fish takes the bait, the bobber will sink into the water. When it is beneath the water, press the O button or circle button. And unblinking eyes don't fail me now. Ah! And then uh, once the fish bites, pay attention to the gauge at the bottom of the screen. Hold. Okay. Nope. No. Oh no. Okay. I got. I got you. I got you. Huh. Huh. I get it. I get it. Whoa. No. Don't you get away from me, fish! Arr! No! Get back! Ha! God, I missed it. That did not end well. I should read up on fishing more. I can make four more attempts. Let's keep going. I think we can do this. I, we can do this. Yeah, I gotta finish reading that fishing book. It'll definitely help. And... Uh... Ah! Whoop. Uh, I gotta have a better touch with than I do right now with this. Uh, oh, we almost have it. Come on! Oh, you feisty... Oh, God, it got away. Uh, these are real feisty ones. Maybe I shouldn't have fished on a rainy day. 
Got it. Nice. I almost let that one go. I got an Ambrosima. I'll keep fishing, but all I've got left is breadcrumbs. And as weird as it sounds, you do have to fish in order to complete this game. Huh? Ah! Huh! Oh, that was easy. What'd I get? I got a goldfish. Yes! Well, I'm out of bait. Time to go home. Welcome home! Hi! Okay, what did people do tonight? Studied at home, went to bed, worked at home, okay. So it doesn't look like there's much going- yeah, I don't think you can go out. Can you go out at, when it's raining? Yeah, you totally can. I don't think anybody's gonna be around, though. Oh yeah, there's plenty of- well, you know, you, you kind of go straight from the intro of Persona 4 straight into the fight to save Yukiko. But then there, there are long stretches of this game where you just do not fight anything. Uh, that's right, I want to go over to Shiroku. Because if you ask her nicely, she'll give you breadcrumbs every day. It's raining today. This weather reminds me of a man I once knew. It was raining on that day, too. Oh dear, I'm sad now. Perhaps I should sing something to cheer myself up. Talk! April is the season for encounters. How about it? Have you had any wonderful encounters of your own? I have. I met you. Ha <laughs> ha, don't, don't give me that look. I'm not interested even that way. <sighs> I wonder if there are any charming encounters coming my way soon. Oh, you don't have a present for my little one today? <laughs> Men, I was a fool to get my hopes up. What? Do you want breadcrumbs? Oh well, I'll make an exception for today. Obtain breadcrumbs! Da da da! Nice! Oh, I should mention, by the way, uh, for those of you who are kind of getting into this at all. So, Persona 4 is very story-based. You know, like, if, if you miss a stream or two, you might get in trouble trying to figure out what's going on. I, since I, I think I talked it over with a few of you, and I decided to uh, start putting the entire Persona 4 Golden playthrough on my YouTube channel, which you can find, I, th I think I still have a YouTube, maybe I don't have the YouTube link anymore, but it's youtube.com, just look up Shadow Temple, the same way you see it spelled here, and uh, I'll be posting a new episode every day, and you can keep up with that. So if you're watching this on YouTube, hi! You're about three episodes in. Congratulations. Or four. I can't... Re God damn it. But yes. It's on YouTube. It'll be on YouTube. The first, the very first episode's already up. You can watch the rest in the next week or so. Just so you can catch up, you know? Want to make sure people aren't lost. Because it's going to be, you know, it's it's going to be an interesting playthrough, I, I think. Well, not this one in particular compared to Rest. But I think people will enjoy it if they get into it. I came to offer my fuda to celebrate my children's child's seventh birthday. However, I'm so hungry I can't even walk. It is truly shameful. Do you have any red goldfish you could spare? I do have a red goldfish. I guess I'll give it to her. Thank you very much. And then she just r rips into it with her teeth. Like the red goldfish is still wriggling from me catching it earlier. This is an expression of my thanks. Please, take this. Obtained the King Yu Stone. Thank you. Yes. Okay, um, back home. What'd you miss during the last Persona stream? It was mostly uh, talking to people. We developed some friendships with Chie, Yosuke, Daisuke, Ko, um, Yumi, Marie, 
is a lot of social link building. Let's see who we all have linked up. Uh, we got... Well, we, we already had that. We have Yosuke, of course. We developed Chie's a little bit more. Uh, Daisuke, who's the soccer player. Yumi, who's the drama club student. Marie, who's the weird... Very, uh... Unsympathetic girl from the Velvet Room. And that's it. But yeah. Again, Lunaris, it will be uh it'll be on YouTube in the matter of days. I'll put like I said, I'll put up another I I've, I've been cutting up into about one hour chunks. So one two hour stream gets split into two episodes. Let's read a book. Let's read my fishing book. Yes. You decide to continue reading Beginner Fishing. Oh, no, 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 no. That that stone wasn't completely nece necessary, Arangon. I just wanted to hand her a fish and get a stone in exchange. The author's advice for those just learning how to fish is not to lose heart after hours of waiting for a bite. It seems willpower is very important for a fisherman. You read your book as the rain spatters against the window. Your diligence has greatly increased. There's still some pages of beginner fishing left. You decide to save them to read next time. And so, right there, we saw our own uh, thing that we did logged for everybody else to see. It's a pretty cool system. You, uh, it's almost like crowdsourced walkthroughs. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Hey, Chie. Hey, hey. Yukiko told me that she'll be able to come to school again in two days. Oh, man, I'm glad. I'm so happy. It's thanks to you, Chie. Come on, you know it's all because the three of us did our best. A actually, more like the three of us and one animal thingy? I, I don't know. Does Teddy count? Honestly? Hey, Yumi. Hey. Hey, Doused Up Coon. We have practice today. You're coming, right? Your social link members may invite you during lunch to spend time with them after school. When you choose to spend time with that person, you may become closer to them. You may still spend time with that person after school, even if you decline the invitation during lunch. Will you spend the afternoon with the drama club? Uh, decide later. I see. Well, it's your choice. Just be sure to come by before you forget everything and become completely and totally alienated with the rest of the club. But you know, whatever. What will you do after school? God damn it, Drama Club. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Yukiko to recover. So let's see what everybody did. Uh, it's almost exclusively culture club if you want to do anything in terms of social links. So, we'll go do that. Damn it, now I have to run over there and just... Oh, that's right, I can teleport. Ready? Whee! Much easier. I think the culture club meets... Or the drama club meets over here. This is the meeting room used by the drama club. You feel your relationship with Yumi will become closer. Spend time with the drama club? Yes. You decided to spend time with the drama club. Yasugami High Drama Club. You participated in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practiced expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has increased. No, the long-haired girl is not yet in a relationship, Kamzo. Don't worry. Yes. Just doing fundamentals all the time gets boring, so let's try doing some real performing. We'll hold an audition. Everyone remember the line I'm about to say. After the audition, we'll decide our roles and finish it off with a five-minute skit. Wow. Got it? Now pay attention. 
What crazes me is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. Oh. Uh, not the light of the moon, the golden, no, the golden sea. Okay. You got all that? Well, I'm not going to repeat it. All right, we'll start with Dasnub. Come on up here in front of everybody. Show some emotion. All right, let's go for it. Okay. Uh, uh... I already lost the first one. What tempts me? No, no! I got it wrong! Okay, next person. Mitan, you wanna try? We already know that you're gonna be my main character. I'll do it. I'm, I'm confident I can remember. Okay. Crazes me, damn it. I had that otherwise. Yumi appears to be a completely different person as she recites. What crazes me is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. Yumi's own eyes are full of tears. She has become the character. That was amazing! She's always so good, it's scary. If anyone thinks they can do a better job than me, please come on up. Nope. <laughs> Yumi, don't say it like that. If only standing around flirting made you a better actor, huh? Oh shit! Hey, 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 come on. We all remember the lines, so we might as well do it, right? I think watching others act is a good experience, too. Don't you, Yumi? You're right. Go ahead. Everyone recited the line, but Yumi was the best hands down. Okay, we've unanimously decided that Yumi will be the protagonist. And she'll be opposite... Uh, Dasnub. I mean, it's either you or me, and I, what I'd really rather do is direct. You must play Yumi's husband in a short skit. Do you have your lines memorized? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Don't be so tense. This is just practice. But I do want us to take it seriously, so give it a shot, okay? I'll give it my all! Okay. Well, I'll lead you through it. Yumi seems excited. Acting is fun, isn't it? When you're acting, it's like you get to take on the life of another person. Not just yourself. Not some Yumi Ozawa. But another life to live. I don't need lights. I don't need costumes. All I need is a role to play. All I need is to not be me. Well, I got dark quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if, if I keep talking, I'll for you'll for end up forgetting your own lines, huh? <laughs> Let's give it a whirl, darling. With Yumi's encouragement, you decided to accept the role of her husband. You feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened a little. Yay, rank up! So what was that bit about you not wanting to be wanting to be everyone but you? Ah, eh, who cares? All right, want to add up a kiss? Whoa! With Yumi's help, you were able to complete the skit to the applause of the entire drama club. Hey. Yumi seems very happy. You went home. Frosty, the rank one was going or joining drama club. Uh, we haven't actually. I, you know what? I was going to put up a poll, and I forgot. I'll admit. We have time to decide, uh, but I'm going to let you guys. I suppose I'll let you guys decide uh, who to, you know, to to romance, if you will. She is best girl, by the way. But you know, I'll let you guys decide. A little bit. All right, almighty voice. Tell me what I need to do. Let's get more breadcrumbs. Wee. 
Man, it's really empty on these streets when it's completely raining. Alright, I'm not going to read this every single time. It'll change at one point, so I'll read it then, but for now I'll just grab the breadcrumbs and go. Otherwise we're going to be here every night trying to read through that. It's just not going to be worth it. Go back home. Gotta keep getting those breadcrumbs. In case you really want to fish. A sofa suitable for reading on. You have a book right now. Yeah, dude, let's finish beginner fishing. You decide to continue reading beginner fishing. The author's advice for those just learning how to fish is not to lose heart after hours of waiting for a bite. It seems willpower is very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You read your book as the rain spatters against the window. Your diligence has greatly increased. Yes! You have finished reading beginner fishing. Ba ba ba. You feel as if you will be able to fish longer now. Good. Good. One more day of rain, and then we'll we'll learn what Yukiko y what Yukiko did. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up. Today is show a day, so you have the day off from school. Oh. All you can do is wait for Yukiko's recovery. What should you do today? No call, huh? What are we doing? Went straight home. Dear God. That's terrible. People are like, well, I don't have anything better to do. I get it. Let's leave. It's time to go back fishing. There's nothing better to do today. Everybody's inside because it's raining, so there's there's nothing there. It's just not worth it. Here we go. And we got some breadcrumbs. Not many, but we have a few. You see the shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. Since you begin finished reading Beginner Fishing, you feel as though you could be a better fisherman. I've only got two breadcrumbs, but it'll have to do. And... Huh? 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 No. Whoa. Get in here. I think I got a Kenji at you. Nope, got another red goldfish. Yay! With your current diligence, you can make five more attempts. Yeah, with all of these breadcrumbs that I don't have. And... Huh? 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 Oh no! Oh! Yeah! No! Get back here! No! Got it. Probably not like gold. No, I got it. I got the other one, the Genji AU. Yes! I'm out of bait. Weekend rainfall, clear skies seem unlikely in the area. Oh. A thick fog is expected to set in tonight and remain until tomorrow morning, with heaviest concentration in the Inaba area. Anyone planning to go out tonight should take care. Now for our hourly weather breakdown. So this is where, like, if we didn't save Yukiko, we'd be hearing like, oh no, Yukiko's gone, Yukiko's gone missing, and in the fog she'd be murdered. More fog, huh? There's been a lot of that lately. Hopefully it's not a sign of more trouble. But it won't be, because we saved the day. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what did I say about changing the channel without asking? But the weather's boring, Dad! Have a great day, even during Golden Week, at your local Juness. Golden Week's coming up. Come see for yourself, and get in touch with our products. Hugh, are you out there? Because this is your time to shine. Every day's great at your Juness. <gasps> Every day's great at your Juness. Dad, they're going to be open during Golden Week. Dad, let's take a trip to Juness during Golden Week. <laughs> I heard. 
Do you want to go somewhere during the long holiday? Sure. <laughs> we can go somewhere? Let's go on a trip. How about it? Got any plans yet? Hell no. Then let's all go somewhere together. Okay. Junus, 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 Junus. <laughs> can we go somewhere other than the local shopping mall at Monaco? Just, you know, maybe a beach or... Or Junus. Junus is fine. Whatever. You're adorable. You sure you want to go to Jeunesse? We can go there anytime. Come on, girl. Time for bed. It's late. Alright. Every day's great at your Jeunesse. Nanako seems very excited about the family outing. <laughs> push, push Dojima into the TV. He comes out like, uh... A few weeks later, it's like, yep, solved everything. Now I know. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. Nothing catches your eye. I can't go out because Dojima's here. Junas, huh? She's satisfied to go somewhere that's so close. Well, I'm not going to force you. But if you don't have any plans, try to keep it in mind. Alright, let's go to bed. Will you return to your room and watch the Midnight Channel? It's midnight. The fog has set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Yukiko has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Meanwhile, at the fog-shrouded shopping district... <gasps> it's the killer! I can see him or her! I, I actually don't really know. And they walked away, without saying a single goddamn thing. Kamzo, duh, the police can't do anything right. God. Oh, good morning. Hey, Yukiko. You're looking better. Feeling better? Yeah. I'll be coming to school again, so that'll be nice. Good. I caused everyone some real trouble. No, the murderer did. You just happened to get a little freaked out when someone said that you don't want to inherit your family business. I'm sorry. It's okay. isn't quite right. What I mean to say is, thank you. Aww. Yukiko seems more cheerful than before. My mother's back to work already. Hey, so you, that means you don't have to wear that kimono because you're filling in for your mom at the end you run? The maids are being really supportive, and I think things are going even smoother than before. Yay. I wonder if I was trying too hard. Might have. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself what servants are for. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. Good. But it's still kind of embarrassing. A little bit. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. Mm. Everyone's like that. Don't worry about it. You think so? Yeah, everybody's got a side that they'd rather not release. For me, it's I've always wanted to be a country singer. What? Nothing. No, nothing. God, this tea is fantastic. Oh, hey, Chie. Oh, it's Chie. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye, Yukiko. Yukiko has come back as energetic as ever. It's a good thing you were able to save her. Yukiko-san is back. That's good. I'm glad the only cutie in the class, whoa, was able to return. Wouldn't you guys agree? Oops, I mean, uh, uh all of you are cute. No, no, really. Uh, 
please don't don't tell your parents I said that, will you? I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> anyway, I uh, I have an interesting topic for you today. Uh, close your books and take a look at the handout. Uh, look, sounds like a good time to pick on the city boy, Dustin of Guten. What is the greatest canyon in the solar system? Oh God. Uh, the Vows Murners. You gave the answer you think is correct. Well, you really are from the city. Well, I guess that doesn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> I don't know if if that means it's correct or wrong. Hey, I got it right. The Vallis Mirrors on Mars is ten lo times larger than the Grand Canyon. Mars also hosts Mount Mount Olympus Mons, the largest mountain in the solar system. Both the highest mountain and the greatest canyon are both on Mars. Isn't that useful information? Since you got me started on canyons, I'm going to cover some material on their characteristics. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. We're also going to ignore that, you know, he was making sexual advances towards some of the girls in class. Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? What, no meals for us? Thanks! Oh, that smells so good! These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. What club? How much longer do I have to wait on this? They never actually mentioned Chie, what club Chie is in. It still needs a few minutes. So why are we here? Oh yeah, we were going to ask Yukiko what happened. Oh yeah, the murders. I forgot about those. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? Nope! Spoiler alert. No. See? I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. We're ten hours into the game, like we'd figure out who the murderer is. I think... the doorbell rang at the entrance. Okay. And someone called for me. Any sort of feeling as to who that someone might be? When I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. Hmm. I'm sorry. So we know that the killer likes to ring doorbells. No need to apologize. We already know more about the case than we did before. The killer apparently has manners. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? That's what I mean. He's uh, He or she is a very polite one. The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. No. Oh. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. Haha! <laughs> that would be so, so weird. <sighs> I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. Adios. Uh, I don't know. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. They're probably bored. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Fine. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. Whoa. It's murder, all right. Oh, yeah. We never told you. They could be accidents, by the way. Maybe someone's just, like, bumping at people like, Shit! They went into the TV again. Damn it. I'm so clumsy. This guy and me are going to catch the culprit ourselves. And Chie. Don't forget her. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. Could you lend us a hand? Huh? Um... You have one of those now. I'm helping out too! Sure. I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm going to sock whoever's doing this. I want to see that. Chie. Oh, just don't Maybe mind me. Too. Don't mind me, just enjoy your conversation without any of us. I want to know why this is happening. Good. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. Maybe it was that creepy kid. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. All right. Then let's all work together and catch this asshole. Yeah. Agreed. Yukiko, join the group. 
She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. The investigation team Social Link has reached level two. Your power to create personas of the fool arcana has grown. But how are we gonna find them? We don't have a single lead yet. I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. It'd be a short game if it was. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? Potentially. So we'll outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. Well, let's see. So, so far, well, they'll explain First, it. First, <laughs> there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Second, was Saki Konishi, senpai. Third, was Yukiko Amagi. Sethar, don't say anything. So, all three of these were women, for fir first off, which is something. What do they all have in common? That's one connection. Um, uh, they're all female. Bingo. How dare he target females! Now that's unforgivable. The culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. Hey, maybe it was just a weird coincidence, huh? Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Maybe he had a sm the, the killer has a small TV that they're stuffing him into, and girls just happen to be have smaller frames. Hey, that's right. Yukiko and Saki Senpai both had connections to that announcer. Yeah, but he was shaky at best. That's true. Then does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? Again, it, I don't know. I think that's a safe assumption for now. Oh, or not. Fine, sure. There's another angle we can take, too. If another person disappears... Right. You think they'd be on that Midnight Channel? Bingo! That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped, too! Ah! Yeah. It's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is... It's happened before the victims disappeared. Kinda like a ransom note. Oh, dear. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. Okay. The next time it rains. Check the Midnight Channel. It seems that the Midnight Channel is your only means of predicting who will be kidnapped next. You must remember to watch it on the next rainy night. By the way, aren't those done by now? Whoa, that's right! Chow time! Oh yeah! Could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite? Hands up the soba, pal. Go get your own if you want some. Whoa. Also correct. Okay. Just one bite. Got it. Okay, fine. Just one bite. Del the delicious aroma from the udon bowl is drifting your way. Do you want to try some? Eh, yeah, sure. I'll try a bite. Oh, good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! That is more than a bite. It's too delicious to stop eating. I can't control myself! Oh! And they literally can't control themselves. Ah! What the hell are you doing? You ate everything! Whoops. Oh. I hope you guys understand what this means. That her fried tofu's gone. Oh, wait, 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 stop. I'm sorry. Steak. I'll buy you steak. It'll be on me. <laughs> the ultimate distractor. You hear me? The very best. Steak? My tofu. <laughs> Yukiko, shut up about your tofu. We're getting steak. Oh, that's that's actually the line she's going for. We can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. Steak time! Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying a steak. Mmm. What would 
be too fatty. Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Filet, 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 filet mignon. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Yeah, fine. Are we going back to Junis? Yep. <laughs> Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. Ta-da! That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh, well. Steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Most likely. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. My fried tofu. So back on topic. I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. Hmm. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. No, no. And I'm sure someone will explain right about now. But Mizuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? Yep. And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. So why she would, would she care? Really? You know an awful lot about this. I watch TV too. I, I saw it. Okay, what about the second case? Saki Senpai. She found the announcer's body. Could she have seen something? Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target Senpai? To shut her up? Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Maybe she found a clue or something about the culprit. It's possible. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Unless they were an idiot. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. Oh, hey, police. It's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Steaks on the menu. Huh? Isn't he that detective? He always seems to roll around when we want to talk about the murders. Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. What do you mean? Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Oh. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Sure. Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Adachi talks to himself all the time. In third person, too, of course. You know, he's like, Adachi's looking up today. And, uh, man, it's a rough day for Adachi. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? We're not trained in any sort of de detective, forensic, or investigative, uh, sort of manner, but could it be this? Um, sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes. <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she Whoop. would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Ah. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Tell us. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. Adachi, you are the best cop. See ya. I'm gonna tell on him. I'm gonna rat the fuck You're out of him. right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. Ah! My steak's getting cold! No! Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? No. It's steak. You decided to wait for the two to finish eating, then decided to go into the TV world. Whoa! Hope we're getting better at landing in, in the TV world. Oh, that's right, Yukiko doesn't have her glasses wow. yet. This really is inside the TV. Mm-hmm. It's Teddy. Then it wasn't a dream. Nope, unfortunately. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. 
Uh -oh. Well, this bears part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. I was thinking the same thing. All right. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Hey, Yukiko's own glasses. Ba bam. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. I know, right? It's crazy. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. Wow, they're fantastic. I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. But you don't wear the glasses. I see. But don't you need a pair? Yeah. Ooh, good point. Another great question. And answer? Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. Huh. You didn't know? I mean, sure. Of course not. Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm less interested in your own and more about like how the hell you make glasses in a place like this. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? I don't really want to know, but okay. Uh, Teddy's delicately moving his fingertips. What am I even looking at? Ow! Ah. Hmm? You dropped something. Another set of glasses. Who are those oh, for? That's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. Let's see him. Y Yukiko? Is there a mustache on him? <laughs> there is. How do I look? Looks natural. <laughs> awesome. Do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Practical. Oh, no you don't. How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Oh, you should fix that. Guess I should have made an actual pair. Please. Aw, oh, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. Man. All right, fine. Here we go. <laughs> it beats me. Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. It's good, she's opening up. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know that, Chie. I'm real appreciative of this fact. Now I know. I was going to try using them otherwise. Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone, and I get bored. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. She's still wearing them. I can't stop. Shut up, it's an endearing character trait. You decided to go back for today. And come, so you have to realize that, that it's kind of a part of this game, is that, you know, we use these personas to deflect the, the harsh... and the fifth. One second, Dojima. We use these personas to reject the harsh realities of our daily lives, when our own personal, our own personal personalities happen to be something much deeper, something maybe entirely counter to what we show on the, on the external anyway. Which is why, you know, she seems a little mopey, a little, a little quiet when she's out at school and whatnot. But her real, her real personality is very uh, bubbly, I guess is a word to put it, maybe. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Oh, for Golden Week? <gasps> really? Really? <sighs> wow, Nanako does not put up with this bullshit. What, you don't believe me? Nope. Oh, it's always cancelled. Oh, 
not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> can we go on a trip? Yes, we can, and not just Jeunesse. Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Eh, well. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Can you deny that? Can you deny that face right there? We're going on a goddamn trip, and there's nothing All you can right. say about it. All right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? Hell yes. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. Well, no, another part about that, Kamzo, is the fact that, and Chie hinted at this fact, when it's just her and Chie together, that's how she is. Like, that is her life. And it's when, uh, now she's slowly, she's actually starting to react in that manner to other people. And keep in mind, you know, you, or, uh, Yosuke and Dasna were the two people who actually saw that other side of her, so she might feel a little bit more open to the rest of them. Anyway, you'll be going on an outing with the Dojimas during the long holiday. Let's bring boxed lunches. Sure. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we get this guy for, huh, Nanako? What? Sethart, one, gross, and two, she related to her. So, like, there are two problems there. Yay! Box lunches! She's a cousin. A first cousin. Nanako is pleased. You've been selected to pack the family's ba boxed lunches. Hey, Blaze. I don't know how to make fucking boxed lunches. What, do you, you want sandwiches? I can make sandwiches. Vacation, huh? Should we make reservations now? <laughs> vacation, vacation, I can't wait. Yeah. Nothing catches your eye. You can feel Dojima exerting his authoritative influence on you. You should give up on going out tonight. Okay, what did people do? Really nothing at all. Okay. Uh, I should have picked up a... I admit, I'll have to, I should have picked up a job. Let's just go to bed. We can sometimes get... Nope. I was going to say sometimes you get some bonus stuff for uh, just going to bed. Not this time. Well, he was married at one point, Sethart. I did hear about that, Frosty. You have the day off from school today. You wonder if someone will show up on the Midnight Channel tonight. You can only wait and see. What should you do today? We got a call. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Do you have time to go inside the TV today? Now that you can... The hell? Now that Yukiko's with us, I think it might be good for her to get some experience being in that place. Just give us a call if you want to go. See ya! Chie hung up. You thought about exploring the TV world today. Hold on. For whatever reason, my, uh... My capture went out, even though it's definitely still streaming. I'll just watch it off my exploit window, I guess. You can watch other things besides Persona... What? You can now watch other things besides Persona 4 Golden. Huzzah! You can see live footage, or footage from the Persona Music Live concerts, rewatch videos from the game, among other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Okay. Uh, we haven't saved in a while. Why don't we save? All right, let's go. Go out until evening? Yes. All right, what do we got? Um, it looks like we should spend time with Marie. 
so go do that. Oh, hey, Marie. Bye, Marie. We'll hang out with her in a minute. First, of course, we need to go get a drink from that one guy. Or we need to go give a drink to that one kid over at the shrine. Catching bugs makes me thirsty. I really want some tap soda, but I spent all my allowance. Oh, well, I'll just drink water. You have seven tap sodas. Here you go. Well, you're giving me another one? Really? Then I, 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 I gotta give you something, too. You received a Tatsushimi Ladybug. Yay! Let's see here, Seth. You can, uh... You can date Chie, Yukiko, Naoto, Marie, Rise, Yumi, and, uh... I think that's it? Who's this kid? The police haven't, still haven't caught the killer. Those idiots! Can't they do anything right? I tell you, the world is chock full of idiots. Take these morons that ride around in bikes in the middle of the night for an example. Guys like that can't do anything without each other. They're worthless. And let me tell you, the student from a rival school rented on and on. Oh yeah, Ion and I. Forgot about those two. Yeah, maybe I'll put up a straw poll after this stream, maybe. I got, for some reason, I got it back. Hold up. Sorry for the mouse, and the mouse is gone. Hey, Marie. Huh? Oh, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Hey, why don't you take me somewhere? I don't know the area. You know your way around here, right? It seems Marie wants to go out. You can feel your relationship with Marie will deepen. Spend the day with Marie. Let's go. I'll do it, Seth Hart. Don't worry about it. I, there's some. Uh, I have a plan for it anyway. Marie looks happy. Today I want to go to a lively place. I want to go to Juness. I heard about that place. It seems Marie wants to go go to Juness. You decided to take Marie to Juness. They don't like pronouns in this game very often when it comes to, uh... Anyway. Juness, electronics department. You d were dragged by... We were dragged here by an excited Marie. Hey. Hey, what what happened just now? Time sale? Everyone is rushing to grab something called Sala dressing? Whatever it is, it must be worth fighting for. Hmm? Hey, Dasnabkun, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute! This is Marie. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Marie looks perplexed. Marie-chan, huh? Ooh, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm, I'm Chie Santanaka. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know what this is. It shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at the TVs, too? Yeah, I want one, too. We still haven't replaced our old one. <laughs> Whatever. I, I, I don't want one. I, I don't, but... Maybe... Can you turn it to star scandals? Can you even watch it in the room? Why? What? Why the hell not? I mean, I, I didn't say that I even wanted to. Jerk. Maria seems disappointed. So how do you watch it? You explain to Marie how do you use a TV. Huh? Are you one of those people who doesn't watch TV? That's right. There, there isn't one in the room. Really? Wow. You must have some super strict parents. Girl, I don't think I could stand it. Life without kung fu movies. <sighs> Oh, but there's no, uh, electric Lautwitz in that room. I'll tell the nose to install one of those electric 
outlet outlets. There's nothing to do in there. Hey, wait, Marie Chan? You don't even have electricity in your room? That'd be, that would be kind of weird. Juna's food court. You came with Marie and Chie. <laughs> that was the good stuff. Satisfaction. I haven't had the steak here in a w We had the steak like three days ago. But it really isn't all that bad. Marie Chan, you haven't eaten at all. You too, Dustin Kun. You gotta eat if you want to grow up and big and strong. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you eat too fast. You're gonna be fat one day. I didn't need to hear that. Oh. I, I'll go get us some drinks. <laughs> Ooh, long tea sounds good. I will never explain a Kamzo, not even once. Well, mostly never. There's a lot of people at this Juness place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? If they have TVs, they should be watching them instead of wasting time here. Mommy, I'm thirsty! I want soda! No, you just had one. You'll have to wait. I want it! I want it! I said no, you'll rot your teeth. Marie watches the mother and son. Hey. Do you think I was ever like that? You don't remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot I don't remember. Everything. Marie looks serious. I don't remember anything. I was just walking. I had nowhere to go, and I just ended up in that car. Then Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. It'd be hard to get around with a name. That must be rough. I don't know. I can't even remember if it was tough. That's okay. It's not like it's troubling me or anything. Jerk. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But I don't know why, but this town is familiar to me. Do you remember anything else? I don't know. The only thing I remember, or more like, no, is that this is mine. This whole town is mine! <laughs> Just flies up into the sky. Anyway, Marie is holding an old bamboo comb in her hand. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But, so what? This doesn't help anything. Marie confided in you about her memory. You feel that your relationship with Marie has grown deeper. Ba bam The Marie social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Aeon, Aeon Arcana has grown. Mm. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There's no such thing. Okay. How stupid. This conversation's boring. Let's talk about something else. Sorry to keep you waiting. The shop was busy, so I just ordered and came back here. They'll bring it to us when it's ready. Uh, is it me or is the mood a little bit heavy around here? <laughs> t -t Don't worry, you two. I ordered for all of us. Oolong tea for everybody. See ya. After talking with Marie and Chie, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. Again, Kamzo, I am going to let you guys vote. Welcome home. And if you don't vote, I'm picking Chie. So there. Um. Wow, oh, there's not much going on there. Okay, to the shopping district. More breadcrumbs. Go. We also need to give that Tatsushimi ladybug to, uh, to Akihiko over here.
Have you gone to the shrine up ahead? That place is so empty at night, it's scary. It's only lively during the summer festivals. I've heard rumors that ghosts appear at night, but the good luck that comes from there is amazing. It's thanks to that good luck that I can keep this place open. I visit it every so often to pay my respects and offer the stones I've gathered. You should visit there too. I'm sure you'll be blessed with greatness. Hmm? Do you have a present for my little one? Give her the Tatsushime Ladybug? Yep! The hostess puts the Tatsushime Ladybug into the fish tank. Here, this is a little something to thank you for your kindness. You obtained breadcrumbs! Yeah! Uh, I think I got another goldfish I could give to the woman up there if she's there. Is Chi around? Some or one of the people mentioned that uh, I have Shadow Yomi, but I'm intending not to spoil it for anybody. Spoiler, spoil this for anybody who's watching. So I don't want to, you know. I know what's going on. Doesn't mean I want to uh, ruin it for others. Uh, what do I want to do? See, you, gaming guru. Seriously though, let's... I could have sworn I... S yeah, there's one spent with Chie at the top right. Maybe already burned out Chie. Um... So let's actually... Oh, damn it, the shrine's still empty because we haven't done the... Fuck. Guess we're going home! Because we got nothing better to do. Can I go fishing at night? I think I can. I only have one set of breadcrumbs, I think. More fishing! Yes! Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Hey, now it does fine. But totally you do. Whoa! There we go. Yeah! Oops. Oh! Good morning. It's raining. It's not going to last past nightfall, though. Every time it rained while I was over there, you must have been... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be gloomy. I know. Golden Week starts tomorrow, right? Do you have any plans? I have a family outing. I, I see. That must be tough. Oh, come on. But at least it looks like we're going to have clear skies all week. It'd be nice if you could sit, stay peaceful like this, but the mystery hasn't been solved yet. Perhaps we should visit over there once in a while so we can, we can become stronger. I've been hearing a lot of chatter about Golden Week, but don't forget the first and foremost, you students. Your duty is to study. You don't have time to fool around, all right? Do not misunderstand what the freedom means. It does not mean that you can live without taking responsibility. Even Pythagoras said, as soon as laws are necessary for man, they are no longer fit for freedom. Next order of business. Midterms are coming up next week. The results will be posted to humiliate low-scoring losers. If you don't want us to be shamed, study hard. It's that simple. If you do well, who knows? You may become a more popular Cretan. And you know, popularity leads to intimacy. On top of that, my reputation goes up. It's a win-win situation, people. Like I said, study hard. You listen to this lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. 